Hey everyone, this is Matt with Motion VFX, and I just want to walk through a simple solution to a common problem that you may run into when using some of our effects with an adjustment clip. So here on my timeline, you can see I just have this simple shot of a BMX guy going up this ramp here. And if I take an adjustment clip and layer it right on top of my footage, and then let's use an effect from our Emory Style 2 pack, something like vintage preset number 10 will work. Now you can see if I play through this, everything looks fine. As soon as this adjustment clip happens, we get this nice faded vintage effect on our footage. But the problem comes when we take the beginning of this adjustment clip and drag it backwards in time like this. Now if I play through, you can see our footage skips forward as soon as this adjustment clip happens. Now this isn't a glitch or a bug, this is actually just a limitation with the way that Fusion looks at an adjustment clip. So adjustment clips are just like any other piece of media. They have their own frame numbers, and so if you go into the Fusion page inside of this adjustment clip, you can see we've got these negative frames here, which is why we have a 30 frame delay or a skip in our footage. So having negative frames in Fusion can cause all kinds of issues, especially with effects that you can drag from the edit page. So we just have to make sure that we don't ever edit the beginning of an adjustment clip like this if we plan to use Fusion effects with this adjustment clip. So if you've already done this, what you can do is put your playhead here on frame zero on the Fusion page. You can even type in zero in this little frame window right there. Then whenever you go to the edit page, your playhead should align with the same playhead in Fusion, and so we know this is frame zero. So I'll just take the beginning of my adjustment clip and snap it to my playhead. And again, I don't want to edit the beginning of this adjustment clip. So if I want to retime the adjustment clip, I just have to move the entire piece like this. And I can change the end all I want, because we're not going to get negative frames by, you know, adjusting the end of our adjustment clip. And if I play through this, you can see we have no more time skip like we did with those negative frames. Now, this is not limited to anything from Motion VFX specifically. So let me show you if I delete this effect and go grab something that came built into DaVinci Resolve, this drone overlay will work just fine. So you can see here, if I play through this, we have no issue at all. But if we take the beginning of this adjustment clip and drag it backwards, you will see the same issue with that time skipping forward, just like we had with the M Restyle effect. So again, we just have to make sure we'd never edit the beginning of this adjustment clip. If you want to change where it happens, just move the entire adjustment clip first and then edit the output over here. Now, if you already have your adjustment clip where you want it to end, you could simply just put your playhead right where you want that to end and then readjust the entire adjustment clip and then re-snap the end to your playhead. And you might also run into a similar issue with transitions. So in between these two shots, I'm just going to use this overexposure transition from our M Transition movie pack. And you can see here, it works fine. But if I were to adjust that cut and change the timing, now let's play through. You can see there's kind of this glitch, right? Now to fix this, what we can do is click on this magic wand to open up the transition inside Fusion. And then right down here in the bottom right corner, you can right click and select Purge Cache, and this will force Fusion to recalculate that transition. So now whenever we play through there, we won't have any of those glitches like before. Now another simple solution to this, you could also select the transition and cut, so Control X or Command X, and then just repaste that back in there. This will also force Fusion to re-render that transition without having to actually go into the Fusion page, so it might be a little bit quicker to do that sometimes. So if you ever run into this issue, I hope this video answers your questions. I hope this helped you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.